Alright guys, this is going to be one of my last videos in the series. Um, this is going to be on heating your reptile. Um, I know I said in my intro it was going to be a eight part series, but I've got most of it sorted out. Um, now it's heating your vivarium and humidity in your vivarium. As I said in my previous videos, I use heat pads and ceramic heat lamp, uh, ceramic heat bulbs with a ceramic holder in the two foot by two uh four foot by two foot by two foot tank i use this and this together as i said before look at the wattage 100 watt 300 watt so that's okay if you get um wattage that's over the input of the actual holder it can cause a fire and kill your animal and possibly kill you if you don't catch it soon enough so what I do is use that, and as well as these, I use a thermostat on all of my tanks. I use heat pads in my top tank and my glass tank, but I use thermostats for them all. This alone will cost you around £70. So it does get quite expensive. But um, yeah, I always use a thermostat. I use Komodo ones because it, the I like them, they're reliable and they don't break, they're quite hardy, so um, yeah. In this one I have a heat pad which is, I think it's 240 volts which is around, and it's about, I think it's 50 watt, but it gets it gets quite hot. I have a thermostat on it and it's fine. The temperature I have on all my tanks, on the hot side which is this side on all of them, which is hot, hot and hot on that side which are 29 degrees celsius which is around it's around 90 degrees fahrenheit and on that side it drops to around 85 uh 82 to 85 degrees fahrenheit which is around 27 degrees i think don't quote me on that <laughs> but yeah they're the temperature so on the hot side 90 on the cool side 82 to 85 that's what i have it on and a hot spot on 95 um yeah, that's about it with humidity. I have a humidity gauge in here, which is here. I have it around 50%, 60 to 50%. Yeah, it's around 60%. When they're in shed, I move it up to around 70%, but yeah, that's when they're in shed. I have one of them because I know the, I know the humidity in that is more or less the same as this, and that one, it... It, and I know from my blood python how humid it looks from the inside. Um, basically, that's it for the heating. Always use a thermostat every single time because if you don't, it can harm your own animal. Um, I recommend the Komodo heat stats. I have a micro micromite one as well, but that's a dimming stat, and I don't really like them. But I use it because I haven't got a third one of these. I use it for this tank. I don't feel like they're reliable enough. So I have this, which is a food um, thermometer, which gives you an accurate reading. Uh, in this room, it's 25.5 degrees. That's because there's a window open over there. Normally when windows shut, it's around 30 degrees in here. So even if my lights or anything break, it'll be still hot enough for them. So yeah, um... The humidity, the heat, you need that for boas, um, for corn snakes and that. It's not as high, or colubrids, it's not as high as boas and um, pythons and the humidity. You don't really need it. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching and again, if you find my videos informal, if you inform... If you find my video, <laughs> sorry about that, if you find my videos interesting if you find it give you information and if you want to shout out uh just drop us a comment um or a mail and um also i have twi twitter as well which is joe at joe underscore mcleod underscore mcleod um which is basically the at sign j-o-e underscore m-a-c-l-e-o-d follow me on there you can ask me any questions you like i'll have um I'll put my Twitter in my description. So yeah, cheers for watching and remember to subscribe if you like my videos.